Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about importing your poser characters into Character Creator 3 uh, using the Transformer tool in Character Creator 3 Pipeline and how to, you can bring those in and make sure the materials are all correct and uh, finally we're going to get to talking about rendering them uh, getting some nice fine looking renders in the iRay Render plugin. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here in Poser. Uh, in Poser I'm just going to go over my dad's people uh, content under content here. You may have it in a different folder but I'm just going to import in Victoria 4.2. All right, so for poser characters, we're only uh, the only poser characters compatible with the transformer is uh, V4 and M4. I might go for right here as well. Okay, but we're going to use Victoria. All right, so let's go ahead and bring her in and let's apply a couple of uh, items to her as well. This In this Fury folder here, I have a bunch of uh, cool looking yet impractical uh, female armor for her character. I'm just going to shift select that. We're not going to import in the shin armor because we're going to import in some custom... Uh, uh, character creator content in just a moment here. But let's go ahead and just click and drag the uh, all this all these items here onto our character and it'll automatically add and conform to Victoria 4. You can see it one by one. We're just adding all the armor there. And once we're done this, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the uh, weird looking purple bra on the character there. All right, so let's go ahead and just uh, get a bit of a closer look at our character here. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of all that uh, purple material there. And to do that, what we're going to do is go over here to materials and in the material folder it'll pop up with the, uh, let's zoom out a little bit here, it'll pop up with the uh, um, uh, eyedropper tool here. Okay, we we'll select our character's chest here and you'll see that the uh, diffuse map will come up here. Let's we'll click on this and we need to go into browse and replace this um, bra version with the simple torso, the new version. Okay. And just go ahead and press OK, and that'll get rid of that. You can see we go around here like this, and we still have the bottom section here, so we need to go ahead and click on the bottom section there and change that map out as well. Just single click, go to Browse, and we're going to find that simple torso right here, and just go ahead and OK, and load that in. All right, now there's one thing we need to do for materials before we uh, import into Character Creator 3, and that is uh, has to do with the eyelashes, OK? So let's go ahead and... Uh, Zoom in on our character here, and we can just uh, pan up here and uh, take a look at the uh, eyelashes. Okay, the eyelashes, we're going to need to uh, customize the uh, map in a way, and that's going to be part of our eye and eye file, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Okay, so just click on the eyes there, and you'll find this uh, eyelash map right here. What we need to do is we need to save this out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it and just go ahead and show an explorer. All right, it's going to show, it's going to open up this explorer folder right there. And we're going to use that a little bit later. We're going to import it into our FBX uh, textures folder. Okay, so let's make sure that we have that available. Okay, and it's the easiest way to do it. Let's go ahead and press OK. And from this point on, we're just going to go ahead and export our character. So let's go up to File and uh, Export, and we're going to export as an FBX. Okay, single frame. Okay, uh, we do not need to export the camera. Okay, so we'll just take that out there, and uh, we do need to export basically everything else here. Just make sure everything else is selected and uh, all the materials and, and uh, meshes and everything and just go ahead and press OK. And once we press OK, uh, it'll prompt us to uh, scale 100% of course here. We just want to make sure that we include normals, all these options right here uh, and embed media. Make sure that your FBX type is set to binary, FBX 2014, okay? And of course include geometry. We'll press OK and we're going to rename our character. Let's just name her onto our desktop. We'll call her uh, Let's create a folder for her first. Let's call the folder uh, Fury, Fury Gal, okay? And just go into that folder and let's we'll call it Fury Gal. Okay, and let's go ahead and save that. All right, and then once that's done, we can go ahead and close Poser down. We don't need to have this open at the moment. And let's go into Character Creator and import our character. Okay, so there's our Explorer folder open. Okay, we'll use that in just a moment. All right, so what we need to do is go ahead and use our transformer tool. Okay, now uh, keep in mind this is available only in the pipeline version of Character Creator. Okay, and we're going to import in that uh, furygal.fbx. Okay, just like this. And we want to bake the materials. So we're going to choose advanced. Okay, if you choose basic, it'll just replace the materials on your FBX file with uh, general uh, character default Character Creator uh, textures there. Okay, we don't need to save this current one. All right, and of course we want to select Bake Body Texture because we want to keep the original body texture there. And we need to generate a profile. This basically creates an INI file that'll kind of dictate um, the, where the materials are assigned when your character is imported. 
and I'll explain that a bit more as we go along here. So we do want to generate a profile. And again, let's go to our desktop into the Fury Gal folder. Generally recommended to keep it in the same folder. Okay. So we'll call it Fury Gal. Uh, and I'll save as an INI file here. You can see .ini. Let's go ahead and click save there. Just like that. And then uh, let's go ahead into our uh, folder here. Let's just uh, create a new uh, window. Let's press Control N there. And create a new Explore window there. And uh, let's go to that uh, folder there. Fury Gal on the desktop there, and we'll, there's our INI file right here. Okay, so let's right click on that, and we're going to go ahead and open it with uh, you can open it with Notepad, WordPad, whatever you're using. Okay, and the section we want to look for here is we want to look for the eyelash section. Okay, because we're going to reassign the uh, texture file that's imported in with the eyelashes. Okay, so let's go ahead and press Control F just to find, and let's just type in eyelash, eyelash. Okay. And it'll take us to the eyelash section. Okay, so down here you can see each section has its own little, uh, well, each uh, mesh area has its own little section here. And for uh, opacity on this one, it says use embed texture. Now this is going to create an issue for us because uh, if we go to our, let's press Control N one more time here and go into our Fury folder. If we take a look at the uh, textures here, it's going to basically use this um, inverted uh, map right now. This is the embedded map. So we need to replace this one, okay? We don't want to use this one. Uh, we want to use the original one from uh, um, uh, Poser here, okay? So I'm just going to copy, right-click and copy that um, texture file and import it into our uh, Theory Gals textures folder, okay? Control V. And we want to copy that file name, okay? So it's V4 Simple Lashes TR. Just right-click it and copy it, okay? And it is a JPEG file, okay? So let's go into our uh, INI file. And we're going to, instead of using bed texture for opacity, we're going to uh, control V and uh, paste in, let's do this, control V and paste in that. And add, of course, a JPEG at the end, uh, JPG. Okay, and then we can go ahead and save this INI file. Just go ahead and click save and close it down. All right, so now we have our INI file all taken care of. And we need to select the texture folder where we can find uh, this, uh, the, basically the texture map that we just indicated in our INI file. So let's go ahead and search here. Okay, we'll go to our desktop, into Fury Gal, and this is the textures folder that we want to choose. Okay, that's the one that I copied my uh, file into, and select folder. Okay, and all of these items here, okay, they've all passed. We're just going to choose a, 10, a 1024 uh, texture size. Of course, well, you can modify the uh, materials and the texture resolution uh, as you will, but we're not going to focus on that right now. We're just going to go ahead and press OK. OK, and this is going to take a minute to import and bake all the textures, so we'll come back in just a moment. OK, so once our character is imported in, let's go ahead and take a look at the eyelashes here. You can see the nice uh, opacity on the eyelashes, and that's uh, an essential step that we took with the INI file to get the eyelashes like this. OK, so the thing we're going to focus on first is the materials on our character. OK, so we're just going to uh, refine and set up the materials. So if I wanted to say, for example, get a little bit more of a specular highlight, let's actually turn off our morph uh, gizmo right now so we don't have that yellow highlight. Uh, if I want to get a bit more of a, a specular highlight on my character's skin, uh, we can you know, take, down the, uh, take down the roughness on the character's uh, skin texture. All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and link everything. And the reason we're linking everything on our character's uh, materials is just to kind of save uh, resources on the materials so there's not separate. Uh, so if you take a look, for example, at... Uh, the um, like all of these items right here, like the uh, horns, the screw, the uh, skull shield band, they're all using the same uh, textures. Okay, so all these ones here, they're using the same textures. And uh, the way that we can, uh, you know, use a bit less resources is to link all those. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, shift select all the uh, materials on my character's mesh here. So just shift select like this, make sure they're all selected. Okay, just like this. And if we go down here, we can go and select this option here, which is auto link all material textures. Okay. And that'll make sure that uh, we're kind of optimized for resources. And you'll see that some of them have this little link icon that appears. Okay. In particular, uh, that basically means that um, all these meshes are sharing the same uh, material there. Okay. So for the shield, for example, they're all sharing these maps. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look, like I originally mentioned here, on our character's skin. So the skin, uh, the base body up here, all these body um, items. Uh, we'll just use the skin, arm, and body uh, for the leg, uh, for the, the skin for the leg, arm, and body, sorry, and the head. Okay, so just shift select all those. And we can go down to our, uh, our roughness map right here. 
And let's uh, zoom in a little bit on our character's uh, face and the uh, chest here. And let's go down to the material adjust color, okay? And uh, here we have the option to adjust the brightness, okay? The, the roughness map is pretty light. If we take that brightness down to like maybe minus 30, for example, if I press enter, you'll notice that the character's uh, skin will have a bit more of a specular highlight on it, okay? We get a bit more uh, of a realistic skin texture. And that's kind of important. You know, you want that nice uh, sheen on the character so they don't look too flat. Okay, and you can do the same thing with uh, other items as well. So let's take a look at this uh, skull. Now, the easiest way to select uh, a mesh, okay, in the materials uh, list right here, is just to press the B hotkey. Okay, so B will be like your uh, eyedropper tool right here. And then just select the mesh right here. And there you can see it selects the shoulder armor skull. Okay, it appears right there. We can go down to our roughness and adjust the color on that as well. We can take the brightness down to like, you know, minus 30, for example, and that'll be you know, quite shiny. Uh, you can see right there, that changes it to be uh, quite reflective. Maybe that's a bit too polished for a skull. So we can adjust that to maybe like, uh, I don't know, minus 10, for example. Just want a little bit of specular highlight on it, highlight on it, not too much. Okay, just like that, and that'll be fine. Okay, we just get a little bit right there, you can see. All right, let's tr try something else, like our character's uh, chest armor here, the uh, the bodice, uh, whatever you want to call it, okay? So again, just use that uh, B hotkey and select it right here. You can see it'll select the uh, bodice shield front right here. And let's do the same thing with this. Let's take the brightness of the roughness map. Uh, make sure, of course, that the roughness map is selected down here. And take that brightness down to like maybe uh, minus, minus 30 or something. Let's try that. Okay, and you can see it'll be uh, quite reflective, just like this. It's just a nice uh, polished uh, bodice right here. Maybe that's a bit too much. We'll take it maybe to uh, minus 15. Okay, just to get a nice little bit of uh, reflection on there. And of course, you can do the same thing for all the other items on your character as well. That looks a little bit better than it did previously. We get that nice specular highlight um, off of the chest area there. Okay, so once you're done with the uh, materials, uh, then you can go ahead and, you know, throw on some uh, uh, character creator content. All right, let's go, for example, over to the uh, base section here under hair. Um, there's a conforming hair volume 2 content pack in the content store. Highly recommended to pick it up. A very good uh, content pack. We'll just apply this Octavia hair to our character. It makes her look a bit more like a warrior slash Amazon character. Yeah, she's got some cool looking uh, braids on the side, funky looking hair there. And I'll throw on some uh, different eyes there as well. So if we uh, zoom in on our character's eyes, we can replace uh, the eyes with the uh, some, uh, embedded content from Character Creator 3. Let's try these uh, eyes 02. Give her some nice uh, hazel looking eyes there. There you go. Okay, some nice, uh, a little bit more depth in those eyes. Nice uh, specular reflection on the eyeballs and everything. Now let's throw on some different uh, shoes, okay? So we didn't export her with shoes. And let's throw on some shoes by going over here to uh, clothing and into the shoe section. Let's go into uh, Gladiator Volume 2 here, and we have these cool looking uh, Centurion boots we can just uh, apply to our character here. Again, you can purchase this separately from the content store, and I'll provide links in the description uh, for you can do that, right? So cool looking, uh, you know, more feminine looking boots there. All right, so we've got our character all set up. Let's take a look at the clothing that she was imported with, uh, namely the, uh, the armor and stuff that she's wearing. Okay, so the best way to test out, you know, the armor that your character, or the clothing that your character is wearing, uh, how it conforms to the body, is to check out the poses. So let's go over here to uh, poses, and let's go to uh, just main uh, motion, and let's try a couple of poses. You can see there's a bunch of different female poses here. Okay, these are all embedded with Character Creator 3. Um, let's go to uh, male pose here. Um, let's just test out this one here. Uh, standing 06. Okay, she's a warrior, so she's going to be a bit more of an you know, aggressive kind of character. And you can see here that we have some breakage, especially on the uh, the pants or the uh, thong or whatever it is here and the uh, leg armor. Okay, so let's ad address the uh, thong here first. Okay, so let's select that uh, right here. Make sure it's uh, selected. Uh, let's just zoom in a little bit here and select it over here. We can also select it from the scene manager as well. Okay, that seems, seems to be all one piece there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to our uh, attributes here. And in attributes, we can go to transfer skin weights, okay? Just to make sure that the skin weights have transferred in properly. And just choose the default template and select apply. Okay, once we do that, you can see it uh, conforms nicely, a bit more nicer to the character's body, uh, the entire thing, the entire bodice, I guess it's what it's called. 
Okay, and if you see an issue like this where there's like you know, a little bit of mesh breakage on the side, the easiest way to fix that is to just uh, select it and go to conform and then calculate collision. Generally, this will fix it if you just calculate the collision. There you go, and that uh, fixed that issue. Let's try the same thing for the leg piece here, okay? For the uh, thigh armor is what it's called. Uh, transfer skin weights, and we'll transfer the uh, default uh, template here. There you go, you can see there's still an issue there at the bottom. So with the bottom, let's we'll go to conform here and calculate collision one more time. And that should resolve most of your issues. Okay, so now we got a nice looking uh, character. A little bit of a, you know, maybe sweat gleaming off her skin there. It looks a little bit, I uh, guess, nice spec specular highlights there. And from this point on, we can go ahead and take some nice uh, looking renders, all right, with uh, the iRay Render uh, plugin for Character Creator. All right, so let's go like to here, for example, go to our content tab. And of course, you normally want to save. If you spent all this work like, importing something, you want to maybe save the project. Let's go over here to Projects and just go to our Custom tab here. And we can just, you know, press the right click and uh, create a new folder. We'll call it uh, Poser. Okay. And go into the Poser folder and just press the plus key. And that'll save our project. We'll call it as uh, Fury Gal. Okay. And then if you want to, you can also add in some uh, Lightroom uh, templates here by going up to the uh, Stage tab. Okay. We need to go to the Template folder first. And in the Stage tab, there's Light Studio. Okay. This is available with purchase from the Content Store as well. You can also get this included with the iRay uh, render uh, plugin. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into Light Studio there. And uh, maybe let's go into uh, Sun and Sky and maybe choose like Sun and Sky uh, Sunset. Okay, this will just replace the uh, IBLs. And so we get a nice kind of uh, sunset look like this. Okay, you can see uh, looking pretty cool. There's the sun over there in the IBL map. So let's go ahead and try and give this an iRay render, something that uh, uh, looks nice, maybe a scene like this and then just go ahead and select preview iray preview you can also use the f11 hotkey okay and that'll start giving us a nice preview uh, right off the bat here you can see the uh, comparison obviously uh, quite a significant difference we had a nice reflection off of her uh, chest armor there and uh, some nice specular highlights on her uh, cheeks there as well okay and again you can uh, there's lots of uh, other stuff you can do in terms of uh, iray renders uh, different settings that you can uh, try out and uh, you know, have fun with that. Check out our iRay tutorials, um, you know, for more information on all of that. All right. And once we're done, like once we get a nice uh, render like this, we can go ahead and just uh, close that down and try a different one. Maybe like in Light Studio, just a general uh, studio, uh, you know, uh, lighting setup here, like a um, silhouette, or uh, let's get a full uh, full body one here. This top panel light one. We get something like this. And maybe zoom in a little bit on the character here, just like this, and uh, maybe take the character up here a little bit. I'm pressing the selecting the character, press the W hotkey, and just kind of bring her up like this. I see she's above the uh, the stage there, and we get a nice kind of cool, cool funky angle like this. And let's give that a preview and see what it looks like. All right, so there you can see we get some nice, more dramatic lighting. This is the uh, two point lighting. There's all sorts of different lighting setups. Uh, in the uh, Light Studio content pack, you know, highly recommended checking it out. Can really uh, add some creativity to your renders, and really easy to set up. You can see here we get some, you know, very nice uh, specular reflections and uh, some strong shadows on the face, since we're having the light coming from directly above the character. All right, so that's really about all I wanted to show you in this tutorial, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you learned a lot about uh, importing your poser characters into Character Creator 3, and uh, you know, getting some nice fine looking renders, uh, photorealistic renders uh, using a quick iRay uh, preview. All right, so uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com and hope to see you soon.